I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Tuesday, February the 14th, Valentine's Day. Brought to you in part by Bovalis Vision, the clostridial vaccine that spurs cattle forward and never backward. Powered by the proprietary spur adjuvant that boosts vaccine performance while causing fewer reactions and reducing the stress on the cattle post vaccination. Each bottle purchased earns you an extra chance to win a legit custom cowboy hat similar to the one I'm wearing from Greeley Hat Works in Greeley, Colorado. Enter to win at poweredbyspur.com. Those three words are separated by a hyphen. Also, Beaver County Stockyards in Beaver, Oklahoma. Another good sale for them here on Tuesday, 3,500 head. Don't forget to get on to dvauction.com and check out that sale. They've got some really premier consignments, including 230 yearling steers uh, from Robert Lee right there, weighing from 8.5 to 9.5. They will be really, really nice cattle and have a green condition to them, guys, if you want some really nice feeding the steers. Got another three loads, seven and a quarter weight uh, yearlings uh, coming from a local backgrounding yard there, but not used up. Uh, Jeff uh, Slatton told me that those cattle are still in a good feeding condition there. And then their pre premier consignment is 120 head of Hereford cows. Uh, they've got their first calf at their side. Going to be peeling most of those calves off and selling them separately, but they will have a few, uh, few pairs on there. But uh, these will be mostly three-year-old Hereford cows, bred Hereford, Coming back in their second and third stage, guys. Uh, be wearing their working clothes in a pretty thin condition, but that's for you to do. Get those cows back in shape and get those cows ready to calve here later this spring. Record volume for the year, and I'm talking about your nationwide fed cattle movement, almost 110,000 head. And here of late, the last few years, uh, that's kind of been a, a barrier there that we say, uh, means that we had a, a pretty brisk movement there over a hundred thousand head nationwide and and uh, that's pretty good how'd that happen short bought packers they went two weeks in a row there and didn't buy near what they needed in a negotiated manner they came back this week they were hungry they still have to buy 10 15 maybe 20 percent at times uh, their cattle on the open market they hate to have to do it because it means competition and they don't want to do that at all. They'd rather have some kind of an alternative marketing agreement uh, where they don't have to compete with the other packers, compete against one another, get all the cattle promised to them, then they know uh, what they have and, and they have their needs mostly met. But they were so short bought they had to come in. These fat cattle sellers are starting to learn the art of negotiation, the art of the deal. They're holding back. They're waiting. They're waiting until the very end of the week. Uh, not this past week, but the week before. They sold pretty much all the cattle of the week Friday evening. Now, this past week, your Packers were too hungry for that. Uh, they started moving cattle late in the week, but mostly on Thursday, and then had Friday sales, and they were pretty brisk. Prices were higher, and of course, the highest prices paid were the last ones paid for the week. Uh, we now have a premium in the Southern Plains uh, after been running for several months with a big premium in the Northern Plains as far as price on the cattle, but the Southern Plains cattle are clean. Uh, Northern Plains cattle carrying a lot of tag. It's been there for a while. A lot of it's starting to come off and not, and not as bad, but uh, still uh, it's pretty significant that the Southern Plains selling their cattle higher. Most of their cattle bringing 60, uh, some up to 161. And the Northern Plains cattle sell them from 157 to 160 for the most part. So uh, it's good to kind of even that out, give some, give some credit to the guys in the Southern Plains for working that negotiation, a few guys that still do it, and getting that price up. And, and we're sure in a rally on all classes of cattle right now and should continue to go forward. Although we will be running into some seasonal pressure as we get forward a little bit more. Uh, now, typically, we see that in April, we see more cattle start showing up, and we start to get a little pressure and go down, but I'm not sure if we're going to see that this year or not. I think we're still going to be really short of cattle, and uh, it, it should, should stay pretty constant 
uh, as far as our demand for cattle and the tight supply should hold the market pretty well steady if not continuing to gain some ground there but uh, saw some pretty decent runs of feeder cattle and calves in your big high volume sales to start off your feeder cattle week this week uh, you know 9750 head in Oklahoma City 9500 head in Joplin other sales uh, running pretty good receipts the weather was pretty good over the weekend uh, and that always spurs uh, a little bit higher receipts because guys like to get in there and get their cattle worked and get them loaded and get them hauled in there uh, on a nice weekend but where are all these feeder cattle coming from I thought we were about out of feeder cattle we're selling them to each other guys uh, guys that, that bought cattle probably six weeks or two months ago and and they were planning on just kind of holding those cattle along and maybe holding them back to turn out on grass or or some guys that even put cattle in a starter yard uh, to move them on to the feed yard later they're looking at the prices that have come up so rapidly and sharply here the last several weeks that they're able to make as much on those cattle as they hope to make on them holding them uh, you know for another five or six months so why not sell them you know interest is starting to add up now interest isn't cheap like we've had for many many years it's starting to, to become uh, uh, an issue there and all of our inputs are extremely high if you got a chance to make 150 or a couple of hundred bucks a head why would you not do it and so we're starting to see cattle shake loose from places that they don't don't normally shake loose from even some of your big feeding outfits are selling some of their started cattle that normally they would keep but if they're already seeing a, a good profit on those shuck those and move on to the next uh, operation there but let's look at your board to start the week out February live cattle futures up a dollar seven at 162.27 April's up a dollar fifteen at 165.10 your back months on live cattle were all up from 57 cents to 82 cents feeder cattle for March are up 80 cents 187.20 April was up 92 at 191.60 Back months were up on feeder cattle from 45 cents to up a dollar two. Weighted average on last week's negotiated fed cattle trade out of your five area feeding region was pretty brisk. 87,700 head, that compares to just 49,300 the previous week and 84,400 the same week a year ago. But live sales out of your feedlots on Fat steers and heifers ranged from 155 to 161, but the bulk of the market was in the middle there somewhere. Uh, there was less than 800 head uh, in your five area feeding region that sold below 157. So I'm not sure if we should back all the way up to that 155 anyway. There were 8,400 head in your five area that bring 161. And I think that was a little bit surprising to me that that many sold at 161. Uh, your big price was 160 that's pretty much what most of your cattle brought in the southern plains except for some top cattle in Kansas brought 161 and then we saw some high quality cattle like in Iowa bring 161 also but your weighted average on live steers 159.62 that was up a dollar 45 dress sales steers and heifers last week ranged from 245 to 254.50 but there was only uh, you know a load of cattle that bring 245 so we probably shouldn't suck that price range down that far uh, there was another 55 head that bring 248 most of the cattle brought from 250 to 25450 heavy on the 254 uh, there was a thousand head that bring 25450 but for the most part your market dressed is 254 weighted average on dressed steers was 25391 and that was up four dollars and three cents on a dress basis compared to the previous week nationwide we sold a hundred and eight thousand four hundred head negotiated and like I said at the beginning of the report that's the heaviest volume we've seen of, uh, of negotiated sales nationwide uh, so far this year of course we're still pretty young in the year there but uh, that 108,400 compares to 64,500 the previous week 104,500 the same week a year ago uh, we saw negotiated grid sales of 44,100 forward contract sales of 26,300 
and formula sales of 265,700 head. That's down from normal. Normally we'd sell 275 to 280 and we was down to 265.7. Another, uh, another reason that you saw your Packers really short bought. Uh, they're not getting as many cattle uh, in any form of marketing as, as, as they like and so they're having to pull slaughter back a little bit. They really don't want to do that. They're mostly black uh, as far as ink uh, going forward so you know if they're making money on the cattle they want to, they want to uh, harvest the cattle and they need the product because they have it promised uh, to their customers but of the 108,400 negotiated with sales we saw last week about 25 percent of those which is more than we want to see were sold for the two to four week delivery now I doubt very many of those cattle end up staying for two to four weeks. I'm pretty sure the Packers will pull those cattle a lot quicker than that because their immediate me immediate needs are, are still uh, pretty big. So they'll be pulling those cattle, but they have a right to, to pick those cattle up two to four weeks out. Don't know why anybody would be selling cattle in an up market two to four weeks out. We can't give them a foothold, guys. That's the way they set things up to turn the market around on us when we've got a rally going here and we don't want to do that going forward. Box beef cutout values were some higher on Monday. Choice cuts were up 29 cents at 269.95. Selects up a buck 92 at 256.21. Monday's slaughter was estimated at 126,000. That's pretty healthy. Talk about what else is going on. Night Latch Group, uh, they want you to hold on to your investment. Uh, that's where the night latch comes from. But the, the livestock policies through USDA with gross margin policies, you can manage your corn and your cattle risk at the same time. Let Night Latch Group show you how to do that. Go to nightlatch.net. Talk about your feeder cattle market, your real time index on DV auction. Late in the day on Monday, sitting at 183.15. That was actually six cents per hundred uh, down from the end of last week. So basically steady right there, but uh, still pretty good market going forward, but it wasn't as crazy as much higher as it was uh, a week ago at this time uh, on the previous Monday. But <clears throat> I want to share this picture with you that I took uh, over the weekend when I was uh, down in Lake City, Florida, speaking to the North Florida Cattlemen's Association this is a picture of me along with Ralph Chile and his daughter Juliana, and I hope that's right there. But I had the best time visiting with, with Ralph there. He is, I guarantee you, the, the biggest uh, Feeder Flash gang member and the southernmost Feeder Flash gang member that I have, at least in the continental United States. Uh, because he operates and backgrounds cattle in Miami, Florida. Uh, he leases uh, places there. He showed me some pictures. I don't have any of them for you, but uh, you know, big, big, uh, you know, uh, fancy homes there, right around the outside of his pastures, uh, around there. And you talk about uh, having outside trouble to deal with. You know, he was telling me uh, when he gets his cattle back grounded and, and ready to sell, and he pulls them off there. Uh, you know, the people are thinking that uh, you know, he went in and shot them all or something because the cattle are gone, they don't know what's happened to them. Uh, they just, they just uh, all the time making calls on him, which you can imagine, trying to background calves uh, inside the city limits of Miami, Florida. He goes up into, uh, further up north into Florida and buys stalkers to background, takes them back down there, backgrounds them, and then sells the yearlings. And he knows how to do it. And I tell you what, the guys in the southeast, that's, that's where your money's to be made, guys, is buy those local calves. They're a lot easier for you to straighten up there than they are to put uh, a big a big haul under them and then try to uh, background them out here and add value to those cattle, make them long time, long time weaned, and make them yearlings, and then they sell a whole lot closer to the market that you want to get than they do as calves. But let's talk about your big markets on Monday. Oklahoma National Stockyards in Oklahoma City, 9,750 head of cattle. Pretty good run, guys. And like I said, some of those cattle are being resold a lot quicker than what we thought just because of the, uh, the ground we've gained in the market here the last several weeks. 
Feeder steers steady to $3 lower, but they had such a crazy wild market last week. Feeder heifers were mostly steady. Steer calves steady to $5 lower. Of course, those, those that were $5 lower were probably the ones that were instances $20 higher last week. Heifer calves steady to $3 higher. Chopping regional stockyards, 9,500 head for them, big run for them. They underestimated again, weren't looking for near that many cattle, but uh, these, these price levels are bringing them out of the woods. Cattle that uh, guys bought, you know, a couple, couple of months ago, they're bringing them back. Why not? Why wouldn't you? Steers, two to six dollars higher, and they had a wild market last week, so that's a really big market for Joplin. Heifers steady to three dollars higher. Going to give you a big quote there, a top quote for the day. Come out of Joplin, I'll give you at the tail end of the report. Your Zoetta stick out sale of the day was Aberdeen Livestock Sales in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Some big time quotes there, but it was just easier to call that the Zoetta stick out sale of the day and give you this automated market report from Cattle Market Central. 402 head of six weight steer calves, average 647. Weighted average price 201.96. 540 head of seven weight steers, average 737, with a weighted average price of 194.45. 516 head of eight weight feeding steers in Aberdeen, South Dakota, averaged 865 on the weight, averaged 180.54 on all those steers there on the price. Look at some heifers, 250 head of six weight heifer calves, average 648, weighted average price 182.15. 232 head of seven weight heifers, average 745. Weighted average price on all of those of 179.64. Give you a few individual quotes. How about Martin Livestock Auction from Martin, South Dakota? They decided that they would like to contribute their market into Cattle Market Central, get recognized and, and shown here and featured on this report more often. No problem, they've got a computerized clerk system uh, the Al Sargent there, so they just all we had to do is match up some numbers. We're going to start feeding that report into us automatically. Going to be able to see that information and get it to you guys more often here. But how about 74 head of steers from Martin, South Dakota, average 694 pounds, bring 204 and a quarter guys. That's weighing 694 at 204 and a quarter. How about Aberdeen Livestock Sales? They were a stick out sale. How about an individual quote? 65 steers weighed 851 at 188.50. My goodness. But the most impressive quote that I saw anywhere on Monday, your Macrosin, no BS, top quote for the day. Come out of Joplin Regional Stockyards, which is not known for their stick out sales. I've told you many times, Jackie Moore likes to get that market established and have those cattle sell at the market, but they had some really top quality cattle uh, in Joplin on Monday there, and some of them just left the price range uh, because the demand on them was so good, including these 86 steers bring six, or they weighed 601 and bring 226.50 in Joplin, Missouri. That's your feeder flash for Tuesday.